Welcome to the tutorial for creating a real-time data graphic. This video will demonstrate how to make a simple scoreboard graphic for track systems. Follow along on screen or on your own show control computer during the demonstration. Real-time data, or RTD, is information generated from a scoring device or software that is integrated with Dactronics display systems. Data fields appear on the display as letters and numbers but are generated by a separate computer or controller. When a field is updated by a scorekeeper or stats official, it immediately updates on the display. This demonstration will use data from the Finish Links track timer. When designing a score graphic, it's helpful to see actual data coming through the system in order to align the fields properly and see the overall appearance. Dactronics recommends starting a new game in the scoring device and entering mock data to represent a real event scenario. From Display Studio, open Content Studio and begin a new presentation. First, select the track and field profile in the dynamic data library. Once the profile is selected, a list of folders will appear. Drag and drop the desired fields onto the presentation. Font options can be changed using the Home tab near the top of the screen. It's recommended to use a fixed width font to display RTD information. Add text boxes to label the data accordingly. Some designers prefer to create a custom background with descriptive words already built in and importing that graphic and layering the RTD fields on top. Use the Align tools to fine-tune the location of the various fields. These tools are located under the Format tab and aligns elements both in the workspace and in relation to each other. Select a field and choose Format, Align, Center Horizontally. To align fields to each other, hold down the Control key and select both fields, then choose Align to Top Element. Use the Align tools to line up the fields horizontally and vertically. Selected items may also be moved one pixel at a time by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Be sure to save your work at regular intervals. To play the file on the display, return to Display Studio and create a button. Right-click in the gray area of the scripting container and select New Button. Click the plus sign at the bottom of the box. Choose DMP 8000 Player Control and click Step 2. Select the zone in which the content will play. Leave Step 3 set to Play, and in Step 4, click Add, and browse to the file you just created in Content Studio. Leave Step 5 on Continuous. Click Save, and click the button to play the file. When a change is made in the timing system, that change will appear instantly on the display. If changes are required to the graphic, they can be made while the file is playing and will update once the file is saved. This concludes the introduction to creating a real-time data graphic. Continue to other videos for more information.